Okay, well, this is a lo-fi podcast that's a lot more in keeping with our regular lo-fi podcast, and it's giving you updates about what's happening. Um, well, we have talked to the uh, Doomsday Film Festival in New York, and they're wanting us to go ahead and send in Day 419 and uh, Forsaken. So that is our plan, that we're going to get that sent out in the next couple of days to them. Uh, very excited about uh, the work that they're doing there. I'm also going to see about if uh, it might be a good fit for them to do some work with MFM, if we could work together, because obviously MFM has been one of the big groups to help us make World of Depleted a reality as a creative community. And we absolutely love the idea of being able to connect with other people who are fascinated by post-apocalyptic elements. Um, Right now, it looks like what we're going to be doing is having, uh, I mentioned that it, we were invited over to Gothicon, and uh, right now what it looks like is we are going to be able to do it, um, but it'll be my producer, Carrie Ann, who will be going up there and doing a demonstration. I have to talk with them and see if maybe we might be able to do a special screening of Day 419, um, kind of get people up to speed on some of the stuff from the background there. So very excited about, you know, the things with Gothicon and so privileged to be invited over there. Um, love the folks that are doing the, the stuff at Gothicon. Uh, really connect with the Gothic community, even though Depleted wasn't never ever designed to be, per se, a Gothic story. It would be hard-pressed to not see the Gothic elements that are there. Um, I mean, look at Fred Koskin's uh, Shards of Glass story and that ominous cathedral. I had a uh, guy look into, uh, my brother-in-law was actually doing some research. Apparently it's called the uh, Third Millennium, the Church of the Third Millennium. And he went and looked at close-ups of, uh, of, the, of the church itself and was saying that it looks like they're made of skulls and bodies. And obviously they weren't, but that's pretty morbid and dark. And to have that be uh, something that, that Fred's story revolved around and that that is the headquarters for a major power figure is of, of quite intriguing possibilities. So, but, you know, even our colors tend to be associated with the Gothic community, black, red, and silver. Um, so it's, a, it's an interesting element. But, again, we're looking forward to that. Uh, very excited about the different opportunities that are coming up. And uh, look forward to all the new things that we can get done. We worked on getting the, uh, the final screener DVD finished for the Doomsday Festival last night. Um, did want to shoot myself for a good portion of it. Because every time it comes to tweaking a DVD... Because there was one thing I found that had somehow not gotten in to what I thought was the final version of the DVD. And so I had to go in there, and there was one other thing I wanted to correct, which should have been a simple correction, like five minutes simple. I think I spent two and a half hours. But it looks cooler! So, at the end of the day, dealing with artistic people, myself being top on the pain in the butt list, Sometimes uh, is a pain in the butt, but um, we'll get there, and we're very excited about you know each of these things. So, looking forward to all of these things and what happens there. So thankful that you guys have been following us and learning more about World of Depleted because again, this isn't just something that we at Viking do. It's not just something Ben Nash does, or JoJo Stratton, or Fred Koskin. It is stuff that everyone can be a part of and we're very excited that we're now getting more of the infrastructure in place where we can be having people come on board and bring their talents whether it be a writer or a filmmaker or an audio guy or a musician or a costume designer there are places for everybody so it's very exciting thanks again and this concludes this edition of the lo-fi podcast